Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be going over how I went from an unrecruited high school kicker to earning a full scholarship to Division I school. So if you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more content. Alright guys, so my football story begins way back um, when I was growing up. I started playing soccer since basically I could walk and I love playing soccer um, and I always could kick the ball far. I would take the goal kicks a lot of times and so when I got to middle school, my parents said, well, why don't you try kicking a football? And so I kind of just went out and tried kicking a football and I happened to be good at it. And I was a kicker in seventh grade and eighth grade. And then I got connected with a kicking coach in my local area and started taking lessons. Um, and I planned to play soccer and football in high school. So when I got to high school, I, as a freshman, I tried out for a kicker and I made the freshman A team. So there's an A team and a B team. I made the freshman A team and I was better than most kids kicking because I've been taking lessons now for about a year or two. And I just kind of had a natural thing for it because I was a soccer player. So after my freshman year on the A-team, kicking pretty well, I did kickoff field goal and did the punting. Um, I also was playing soccer at the time. And then after my freshman year during the summer, uh, we were getting closer when school was starting and my soccer coach called me, who was also the kicking coach at my high school. He said, hey man, look, you got an opportunity to compete uh, for the varsity kicking job. And so just keep doing your thing and I'll let you know more, you know, when to come and you're probably gonna be competing for the job. So also at the end of my freshman year, I got moved up to play varsity soccer. Then comes close to the school year and my, my kicking coach, who was also the soccer coach, said, hey, I want you to come out to the varsity practices. There's another kicker, but um, we want you practicing and you compete for the job. So long story short, I won the starting job as a sophomore on varsity and I played the first five games, did really well and in the fifth game I uh, got injured on a kickoff. I hyperextended my knee and rolled my ankle. So I was out for most of the rest of the season um, and then after that my kicking just kind of didn't feel where I had been before and I don't think it was I don't know if it was an injury I don't know but just didn't feel the same and I had such a good time playing football on varsity like in under the lights and Texas high school football is pretty big so it was just a really fun time and I'd always wanted to play soccer my whole life and then I just kind of had a change of heart and I knew if I wanted to take football to the next level I needed to focus more on it. So my junior year I decided to quit soccer at school and keep going with football and that year was pretty rough. Um, I was starting some of the games, some of the games I was just doing kickoff, you know, we kind of, me and another guy kind of went back and forth. Then senior year I won the starting job after putting in a lot of work in the off season. Senior year I did well, like eight for 10 on field goals 
only long 42. Kickoffs are pretty strong. Um, I could put them, you know, 10 deep from the 40. I had a good leg, um, really worked hard to get there, and did well. Then, after my senior year, didn't really have any offers that I liked. I had some D3s, D2s, uh, but nothing nothing that I really wanted. I really wanted to go D1, and I know a lot of kids do, and I had been working with another coach who'd played in the NFL for a while, and he said, look, I think you have the talent to go D1, so I kind of had my mind on that. I didn't really want to go any other level. I wanted to play at the highest level. So I still had nothing when it came to the spring my senior year um, and got to towards the end of the year. And my kicking coach who I've been working with since seventh or eighth grade said, hey, look at junior colleges. So in Texas, there's some good junior colleges and they had some combines in the spring and the summer. And I went to some of those, um, and I did did well. One of them was Trinity Valley Community College, and I did really well. The coach really liked me, but they already had a guy who was really good, and they just didn't have room for a scholarship at the time. I also had a preferred walk-on at Blinn Junior College, so they had another kicker at the time as well. And they said, well, we can use another kicker. You know, we can get you a preferred walk-on. So I was going to go to Blaine Junior College. Um, I was going to, and I was going to start at Blinn, my uh, second summer session. So that's in July. So I believe that's in July. I was going to start in the summer, basically get uh, get going with their workouts and get in school. Well, my dual credit transcripts from high school didn't get there in time. So they said, well, why don't you just come in August? Then it was about three weeks before I was supposed to go to Blinn, the coach back at Trinity Valley called me and said, hey, look, I got some scholarship money we can offer you. Our kicker got hurt. So I ended up going to Trinity Valley. Did really well. My first year I did field goals and kickoffs. Uh, My second year I did field goals, kickoffs, and punted. Um, First year was a little rough, but my second year there, did really, really well. Got first team all conference kicker and punter. And then I got first team all American as a kicker. So did really well. And I was getting some interest from schools. Um, I had New Mexico State, University of Houston. They would follow me on Twitter. Um, they would connect with me, add some other D1 schools, look at me. So then the University of Houston coach uh, offered me a preferred walk on. And they said, they would soon be deciding on between me and another guy they were going to offer scholarship to. And it turns out the other guy was actually in my JUCO conference, and we had played them. And they actually ended up offering the scholarship to him. Uh, but I still decided to go to University of Houston with a preferred walk-on, knowing that the kicking job was wide open, and I was going to have to compete anywhere I went. So I wanted to play at the highest stage, and that was my biggest school that offered me, I believe, at the time. So I decided to take a, take a chance and just go in, be confident, and, and win the job. And I did and had a blast at University of Houston. But yeah, then I got um, a scholarship after I won the starting job. And so it turned out to be a really good decision, really good choice. But yeah, that's kind of my, my story of how I went from unrecruited in high school to a starter at a Division One and earned a scholarship. If you like this video, please just smash the like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.